For your integrative review, you are required to locate primary research articles or research reports. In this module, you will learn the difference between a primary and secondary article. A primary source is a document or record which reports a study, experiment, event, or other phenomenon firsthand. For example, when a nurse researcher interviews patients about their health behaviors, a pharmaceutical company conducts clinical trials on a new drug, or a healthcare facility surveys its nursing staff, they are creating primary information. Primary sources are usually written by the persons who did the research, conducted the study, ran the experiment, or witnessed the event. Primary sources are detailed first reports of the results of this original research. Look for the following elements when deciding whether a journal article is a primary source reporting the results of original research. Primary research articles can be identified by a commonly used format. If an article contains the following elements, you can usually count it being a primary research article. An outline of methodology used and a report of results and discussion of their significance or implications. Secondary sources are those articles that describe, discuss, interpret, comment upon, analyze, evaluate, summarize, and process primary sources. Secondary source materials can be articles in newspapers or popular magazines, book or movie reviews, or articles found in scholarly journals that discuss or evaluate someone else's original research. All research articles or studies will have two things in common. They will have a defined population, for example, a group of people who are suffering from the same disorder, and an outcome that they measure for the study, such as if a particular drug is effective at treating a certain disease. There are many different study designs. They range from descriptive to cross-sectional studies or randomized controlled trials. Each is unique in terms of how the design is set up, but are defined as being a research article because they have a defined population and outcomes that are measured. For more assistance in determining if your articles are primary or secondary sources, please contact your embedded librarian or any of the Hoffman Family Library staff.